everyone. Welcome to Monday Morning Prayer and Devotion. Here we are again, starting out a brand new week uh, in the Word of the Lord and spending time with one another in prayer. And I'm always so uh, glad to be able to be a part of this. In our praise reports this morning, uh, Stoddard County Health officials reported 105 COVID recoveries Friday. That is quite remarkable. And um, the number of active cases in the county has dropped to 157. And that is a wonderful decrease considering that just a couple of weeks ago we were in the high 300s. Uh, James Weininger, his wife, uh, reports to us today that his O2 levels are steadily improving since his return home from a recent hospital stay due to COVID. Uh, she asked that we do please continue to pray for added strength and for lower blood sugar levels as that has been a problem while he's been on uh, the steroid. In our prayer request today, we did lose uh, some more people over the weekend that we have been praying for some of them. Juanita Welchel, Maria Teets, and Junior Deaver all passed away over this weekend. And uh, Maria and Junior were both uh, people that were uh, battling COVID. Uh, with Sister Welchel, I'm not sure what the cause of her passing was, um, but we want to remember all of these families in our prayers today for God's uh, comfort and strength. Also, Stoddard County Health officials confirmed another COVID-related death on Friday, and that family needs our prayers for peace and comfort as well. Tasha Ray's family uh, needs a miracle this morning. Phil and Karen Sampson need our continued prayers for direction for their finances and for relief from uh, many hard struggles that they have been going through. Judy Williams' sister Paula has been sick and needs our prayers. Uh, Pastor Bill Jones and Sister Sandy Jones need much prayer today. Sister Jones has battled brain cancer for many years and has just been diagnosed with GI tract cancer. And the doctors are giving her anywhere from hours to days to live. Yesterday was their anniversary and uh, she was just not doing well at all. And so they really need us to hold them up in prayer this morning. Uh, others who are battling cancer, Donna Hankins, uh, Lisa Workman, Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Delbert Bryant, Kim Stinson, Lorelei Caden, Jenna Tucker, Evelyn Marshall, Brother Steve Williford, Brother Anthony Trimble, Bercy Gibbs, Linda Fox, David Harris, Claire, Michael Boland, Diane Escher, Wanda Barnes, Ari Bowers, and Josh Soberg. Uh, in our COVID-19 request this morning, Joe Friendsley is in the hospital in Nashville with COVID, and the family is taking him off of the ventilator today, so he needs a miracle. And this is a request uh, from Charlotte Kincaid for this friend of hers. Kristen asked that we pray for Catherine, who has COVID, and also Grandpa Weston, who is exhibiting symptoms. There were 43 new cases of covid confirmed by Stoddard County Health officials on Friday afternoon. So we want to remember those in our prayers today as well, uh, along with Brother Aaron Mitchell, uh, Sister Olga in Belarus, Sasha Lova and wife, a regional missionary family, Brent Hills, family members, Mike Carter, Brenda Brining, Carol Dixon's church family, uh, those who are battling in the nursing home outbreak here in Stoddard County. Of course, James Weininger, we're praying for his continued recovery. Tressa Cook, Sydney McDaniel, Brother Valera, Dorothy Deaver, who has also just lost her husband uh, to COVID, Brother Mickey Lewis's niece, Brother Carol Metters, Guy and Pat Metters, Linda Brandon Pendergrass, Sister Julie Zuniga, Andy Burnett, Laura's friend, Gary and Donna Elm, Don Bowie, and Pastor Gary Butler. We need to continue praying for uh, nursing home residents, not just for COVID, but for the isolation uh, issues that they're experiencing and those who are shut in, such as uh, the Perkins, Elder Brother and Sister Perkins, need our continued prayers for their strength and, and healing and um, just overall encouragement. We want to pray for the children at school today, all the teachers and staff there, um, and many other needs today, many physical needs we need to be praying about for 
uh, Rue for his continued uh, healing, for Shirley Garner, Abel Ray, James Pearson, uh, Debbie Biddick's friends Shirley and Charlotte Kincaid both have kidney issues, Terry Adams' grandson Ethan and my uncle Leslie Pride have health issues, Marsha Moore, Terry Adams, and Michael Parrott, stomach problems. Phyllis Robinette needs healing of her eyes. Uh, we're continuing to pray for Debbie to recover from stroke. Uh, those who are battling Parkinson's today need our prayers. Ron Bryant, Tim Workman, Beulah Ziegler, and Russ. Uh, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley are both battling diabetes. Elder Brother and Sister Perkins, I've mentioned them. Let's continue believing for their healing. Uh, Renee needs hip and knee surgery. Uh, Sister Tomiev is still very, has been very ill, uh, associate representative of missions in Ukraine. So let's continue to pray for her today, for also for Karen Pratt's father, for this aneurysm in his aorta. Missionary Robin Schutz's father needs a heart transplant. Robert Larming has a blockage in an artery at the base of his brain. Uh, Cheryl Lachance uh, needs a healing touch. Bill Eldreth needs healing. Brother Raymond Mason has been battling double pneumonia. Brother Marty DeLotte is battling multiple sclerosis. Roxanne Carson and Faye and Jim Willis, uh, as well as Elizabeth Briggins' son Patrick, all of them needing healing today. We continue to pray for Ethan Morrison for complete recovery after a kidney infection and the hospital stay due to that. Let's keep praying for Brother Britt Moore and for his mother as well. Britt has some back issues and his mother is recovering from a broken hip. Uh, Bonnie Pulaski has medical problems that she needs prayer for. Uh, Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz have uh, lung issues. John Vaughn, Jared Eldreth, and Cooper Durr are all recovering from surgery, and I'm glad that I can report that uh, John is doing much better and uh, is really on the road to recovery, able to be up and around, and uh, looks like he'll be able to rejoin our praise team um, next Sunday. Baby Elsie needs our continued prayers. Sally Waller's granddaughter, Magnolia, needs our prayers. Uh, we have several who are continuing to recover from long-term illnesses and rehab stints. Brandy Bryant, Karen Pratt's mother, Nick Cersei, Gerald Yeely, uh, Allison, Johnny Ray, Sylvia's daughter, Brantley, Donna Reedy, Sabrina Connerly, and Cody Robinette. Let's keep them on our list today as they continue to recover. In our spiritual needs this morning, Josiah, Mark and Caitlin, Haley, Evie, Rose, Carl, Connor, uh, Carmen's daughter Grace, Terry Adams' children, Barbara Owens, Beulah's family, Debbie's daughter Jamie and her family, Debbie's niece, Sam McLeod, Lori Arbo's mother, Cheryl Lachance's family, Sylvia's family, Judy and Mike Williams' daughter Jennifer, Peggy Fiedler and her family, Caroline Sexton and her family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Pam Pulliam's children, Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Tasha Ray's husband, Adam, and sister, Heather. And of course, we want to continue praying for anyone who struggles with their mental health today, with their emotional health. We want to pray for revival in all of our communities and across our nation as we recover from this pandemic. We want to pray for God's direction and his hand upon the economy and upon every need um, that's associated with this pandemic. In our other needs today, Matt and McKenna Perkins are trying to start a family. We want to continue to pray for safe pregnancies and deliveries for Sally Waller's daughters, uh, Beth Wheatley's daughter, Mindy, praying for a safe pregnancy for her and for family issues, Beth's son, Jeremy, and his family also need our prayers. Uh, Annette and Dave have some marital issues. And Annette has some health challenges. And brother and sister Arnold are believing for a financial miracle for their son at Bible College. It's so good to have each of you with me today. And I do not take lightly your participation in our prayer time. There is strength in numbers and there is strength in unity. And um, I feel the strength today of each of your prayers and of each of your involvement today. And I hope that you're receiving that same uh, strength and encouragement from me. I want to conclude today our devotional series 
uh, that we've been talking about um, regarding the failure tests that we all uh, go through as Christians. Many tests that we face, and this is just one of them, but we are overcomers and uh, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. And so all these tests that we face, we understand that God intends it for our good. He takes whatever the enemy means for evil. He turns it for good. And, um, and we need to just follow the instructions of the Word of God and the message that we glean from, from that in this regard to make sure that we are overcomers. And, uh, you know, overcoming failure, uh, there are steps to it. When we fail, number one, we need to seek God for divine direction. Number two... Uh, we have to get to the root cause of the failure so that we don't repeat that failure. Thirdly, um, we need to regard all failures as a learning process. Uh, four, we need to be prepared to change our strategy with dealing with things if they're not working. And number five, so, so important, never give up, ever, ever. Do not give up and do not let your failure be final. You know, failure is not truly failure if you can learn from it. Failure is only failure if you quit without learning from that experience. And uh, we've been t talking from the book of Joshua uh, over this past week and about the battle of Ai and the terrible failure that God's people experienced there for many reasons that we've discussed. Uh, but today I want to talk about the aftermath of that and uh, Joshua's handling of it. In Joshua chapter 8, verse 1, the New Living Translation tells us that the Lord said to Joshua, Do not be afraid or discouraged. Take the entire army and attack Ai, for I have given to you the king of Ai, his people, his city, and his land. So God's instruction was, you messed up, you didn't do things the way they needed to be done, but don't be afraid or discouraged. You've corrected the, the issue. Now go take your entire army and go back into, into battle. In verse 18 of that chapter, the Lord said to Joshua, point your spear toward Ai, for I will give you the city. And Joshua did as he was commanded. As soon as Joshua gave that signal, the men in ambush that he had set there jumped up and poured into the city, and they quickly captured it and set it on fire. And the Israelites that were inside that city came out and started attacking the enemy from the rear. And so the men of Ai were caught in a trap, and all of them died. Not a single person survived or escaped. And we can see in this passage that, you know, failure causes us to realize our need of God. It causes us to realize our need of mercy. And it causes us to realize our need of giving grace. And, you know, God gives us this failure test in order to cause us to realize that we cannot trust in our own abilities, we cannot trust in our own strengths, we cannot trust in our own giftings. To succeed, we need the favor of God, and we need His divine help. And if we will remember these things, remember every lesson that you've learned from any failure in your life, and you can channel that into um, a productiveness that maybe you had not yet experienced. God wants to use our failures uh, to help us to be stronger and to be overcomers. And that will happen if we will entrust the aftermath of our failure with God, not stay down, not uh, wallow in self-pity, not wallow in our failure, but do as the righteous do. When we fall, we get back up. Amen. David said a righteous man uh, will fall seven times, but he will get back up seven times. Amen. Let's pray together today. And whatever failures maybe that you're experiencing, whatever discouragement, this is just a good time at the start of the day. Just give all that to the Lord and just start with a clean slate today. And this is a new day, a new week, and we're going to approach it with gusto, and we are going to do the will of God. Let's pray together. Lord, we love and worship you this morning. We're so thankful for your mercy, so thankful for your grace and your unfailing love. Your faithfulness, God, is so great, and your name is mighty, and you've invested your power within us. You've invested yourself into our lives. You put your very spirit within us, and we thank you, Lord, that you've made us more than conquerors. 
We give you all the praise and the glory for your grace and strength today as you're moving in each of our lives. We pray your blessing today upon each prayer warrior and their families. God, that you would lead us through this day. Lord, that we would truly see your kingdom come in our lives and your will being done in every situation that we're praying about this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray today, God, for your comfort, your strength, your peace upon these families who have lost someone over the weekend. We know, God, we're in such trying times. We're experiencing so much loss right now. We need your comfort and your help. We pray, Lord, for Lonnie and Cindy and their family for in the loss of their mother, Maria. God, we pray for Dorothy Deaver and for her family in the loss of her husband today. We pray for the Welchel family, God, that you would comfort their hearts today and strengthen them as they mourn their loss. We pray today, God, for this family in our county on Friday who lost someone to COVID. Whoever that family is, God, we pray that your spirit would just be with them and to comfort and to help them in their time of need. We pray today for Tasha's family, Lord. You see their need of a miracle, and we're believing, God, that you're our provider. We understand that to be the case, and we're going to trust in you. Lord, move in their situation, we pray. We pray for Phil and Karen today, God. You see their continued struggles. You see their need for direction, their need for help in their finance today. God, we pray that you would minister to them, and Lord, that you would just direct their lives. We pray for Paula today, that you would touch her body and minister healing to her right now. We pray for Brother and Sister Jones today, Lord, this protracted trial that they've been going through for many years we pray you would strengthen Pastor Jones, touch his wife today. Lord, you see this situation that's so dire and she's at the door of death today. We just pray for your will to be done. We know that you're our healer. We know that you're able. And we know that your will is going to be done in this situation in Jesus' name. We pray for all these who are battling cancer that need a miracle today. For Donna Hankins, for Lisa Workman, for Dwayne Lewis for Terry Adams' friend, and for Delbert Bryant, for Kim Stinson, and for these children, Lord, who are suffering today. You see Lorelei and Caden. You see Jenna and Tucker today. God, touch these children, we pray. Let there be a great testimony of your power evidenced in their lives. We pray for Evelyn Marshall this morning, for Brother Williford, for Brother Anthony Trimble. Lord, we believe for miracle healings today. We pray for Versi Gibbs. We pray for Linda Fox and David Harris. We lift up Claire today to your throne. We pray for Michael Boland and for Diane Escher this morning, believing for their healing. We pray for Wanda Barnes and for Ari Bowers and for Josh Solberg. God, we believe for your healing right now. You are Lord over every disease. You are Lord of all. And we give you praise today for the work that you alone can do and that you are doing in Jesus' name, we pray for these, God, who are battling COVID today. For Joe Friendsley, Lord, in the hospital today and being taken off of the vent needs a miracle, Lord. We pray for you to move in that situation. We pray for Catherine, Lord, and for Grandpa Weston today. We pray against the 43 new cases in Stoddard County, Lord, that there would be complete healing in our county. In Jesus' name, we pray for Brother Aaron Mitchell for his family today. We pray for Sister Olga. We pray for Sasha and his wife today. We pray, God, for Brent Hill's family, for Mike Carter, for Brenda Briney. We pray for Sister Carol Dixon's church family today. We pray, God, for James Weininger, Lord, believing, God, that uh, he's going to fully recover in just a matter of days, and we thank you that he's out of the hospital. We pray for Tressa Cook and for Sydney McDaniel. We pray today, God, for Brother Valera, for Dorothy Deaver, God, that not only that you would comfort her heart in her loss of her husband, but, Lord, that she would recover from her own COVID battle. We pray for Brother Lewis's niece today. Lord, we pray, God, your hand upon her, that she would be able to come off of that ventilator, Lord, that she would be able to be there with her baby that was taken early due to COVID. God, we pray, Lord, that you would just touch and minister to that need. We pray for the Metters family, God, that they would all recover fully. For Linda, for Brandon Pendergrass, for Sister Zuniga today, and for Andy Burnett. We pray for Laura's friend. We pray for Gary and Donna today, for Don Bowie, and for Pastor Butler. 
God, we believe for healing of COVID for each and every one of these today. We pray for the nursing home residents and those that are shut into their homes. Lord, we pray for Brother and Sister Perkins. God, keep your hand upon each of these. Strengthen and encourage them. Help them today in their time of need, we pray. We pray for the kids at school today, for the teachers, for the staff members, for the bus drivers, Lord, that your hand of protection would be upon them. We pray, God, today for all these who are battling physically and need a physical touch right now. We pray for Rue and for Shirley Garner, for Abel Ray, for James Pearson, for Charlotte Kincaid and Shirley. We pray today for Ethan and Leslie Pride. Lord, we pray for Marcia, Terry, and Michael today for their healing. We pray for Phyllis Robinette and for Debbie. We lift up my father and my mother-in-law and Tim Workman and Russ today, believing for healing of Parkinson's, believing for healing of diabetes for Tim today, and also for my Aunt Emily. We pray, God, for Renee, Lord, for healing of her hips and knees, for Sister Tom Yev to receive a healing touch today, for Karen Pratt's father, Lord, for that aneurysm to be healed. We pray for missionary Robin Shute's father, believing for a heart transplant for him. We pray for Brother Larmy, God, you're able to remove this blockage in this inoperable area today. We pray for Cheryl, God, that you would touch her body. For Bill Eldreth, Lord, that he would receive healing right now. God, you are our healer. We're going to glorify you for who you are today. Oh, you're our everything, oh God. We believe for your touch right now. We pray this morning, Lord, for Brother Marty DeLott to strengthen him today, minister healing to his body. We lift up Roxanne Carson. We lift up Faye and Jim Willis. We pray for Elizabeth's son, Patrick, right now, and for Ethan Morrison, God, that he would recover fully from this kidney infection. We pray for Brother Britt today, for his mother. God, touch them, minister healing to their bodies, minister healing to Bonnie Pulaski right now, we pray. We ask you, Lord, to touch Robbie and Kendra's lungs right now. Lord, that they would be completely healed. We pray for John and Jared and Cooper as they recover from their recent surgery. We pray for baby Elsie, Lord, for a healing touch. For Sally's granddaughter, Magnolia, in Jesus' name. We believe for continued recovery for Cody Robinette and for Sabrina Connerly, for Donna Reedy and for Faye Willis, for Sylvia's daughter and for Brantley. We pray for Johnny Ray and Willow and Allison today, and we continue to believe for full recovery for Gerald and Nick and Brandy and Karen's mother. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe you, God, as you continue the miracle work that you begun in them. We believe, God, for answers to spiritual needs, for salvation, for deliverance, for a touch for our minds today, for encouragement, for direction, and whatever that's needed today, God, for Josiah, for Mark and Caitlin, for Haley, Evie, Rose, Carl, and Connor, for Grace today, and for Terry Adams' children, for Barbara Owens, and for Beulah's family, for Debbie's daughter, Jamie, and for her niece, for Sam, and for Lori Arbo's mother, for Cheryl's family, and Sylvia's family. We pray for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer. We believe for her salvation, O oh God. We pray for P Peggy Fiedler and her family. We pray for Carolyn, Caroline Sexton and her family today. We believe, God, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Pam Pulliam's children, for Art Chandler, for Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, for Tasha Ray's husband, Adam, and for her sister, Heather. And we pray for all those who are struggling with mental health issues today. And God, with injured spirits, uh, with depression, Lord, with any kind of anxiety or fear, we give it all to you today. We believe for revival in our city. We believe revival for revival in every community. We believe for recovery, God, from this pandemic for our nation and for healing of our land. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, God, for Matt and Michaela as they're trying to start a family. We pray today for Sally's daughters, God, that their pregnancies would be safe and that they would deliver healthy children. We pray for Beth's daughter, Mindy, God, for her pregnancy to be safe as well. We pray for Beth's son, Jeremy, and his family, that you would move in their needs today. For Annette and Dave, God, that their marriage would be healed. Lord, that Annette's body would be healed today. 
And we pray for brother and sister Arnold's son, Lord. Work a miracle in his finances, we pray. You told us, God, to bring our needs to you. You asked us, Lord, to ask of you. And you told us in your word that if any two of us would agree as touching any one thing, that it would be done. We pray today, God, according to your will. And we leave these things in your hands today. And we trust you with every outcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all praise and glory. Amen. 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 God bless you today. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. I invite you to join me again tomorrow morning at 730 as we spend uh, time of devotion and prayer together once again. And we'll be starting a new series in our devotion tomorrow morning. God bless you. I'll see you then.